Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So, um, this is going to be another Rockets in Space video. Um, part of the series. The series is quite long now. It's either six or seven videos or whatnot. So, um, so I, I did a little experiment um, with a uh, water hose in a bucket of water. So, seeing if... Um, being in the water, it could gain more, um, it could produce more force than being out of the water. And what I found was actually shocked me. Uh, I didn't expect it. Um, but I can explain it fully, and um, I think it even supports exactly what I was saying. So that's the, that's the best thing um, to happen is, you know, you just, you, you, you sure you have a theory, you have a hypothesis, whatever, but you um you allow your mind to open up to be able to do experiments to prove or disprove your theory you know so you're you're not dogmatic enough to uh, not really want to know the truth no matter what the truth is so doing this experiment at the very beginning i'm like uh oh like this might um disprove my theory but actually what i think it really does do is prove theory that we have that rockets cannot work in space so i'm going to cut to that right now and then we're going to come back and uh, i'm going to explain what we saw all right so i got a video here of a water jet you know obviously from a hose and i'm going to show you some things here so we can better understand how water jets are working and gas jets so here's um i'm going to pull it out see what happens Obviously, getting more recoil when it's out. Seems like when air is introduced is when it starts to push back better. So then, you know, I can bring it up and down. It's the same, so it's like it's just. It's like the water is acting with suction there. So even if, if I touch it to the wall, it sticks to the wall. So that means that it's creating a low pressure zone right there. It sticks to the wall there. All right, I will explain further. Thank you. So yeah, that video was pretty crazy, huh? It's like you expect that once it has something to push on, the water, that it would be... Um, that it would move faster. I mean, that was our whole premise, right? Is that um, things need things to push on. And, you know, water can push on water um, is what we were thinking. But what's actually the case here, I mean, it might be pushing on the water slightly, but um, the predominant effect is actually a Newton's third law effect going on in a water stream but um the reason why newton's third law effect works is because the water the um the hose is basically throwing liquid right but just like a gas you can't throw an uncontained liquid um, the liquid has to be contained, you know, it has to have like, you know, like, um, with gas, you have like a barrel with a bullet in it. So the, the bullet is like a cylinder, you know, so you're, um, you push it forward by expanding the gas, but the gas is contained into a narrow window so that it can act on that bullet. And with a liquid, you have the same thing in a stream, you know, you have a stream of liquid so that is like the um, the barrel. You know, you have that surface tension holding the liquid into a stream. So that is the barrel of the gun, so to speak. So what we're seeing when the um, the nozzle is outside of the water is that stream, and the water being pushed through that stream, basically. Um, so it's ejecting the mass and that um the recoil of ejecting the mass pushes the um the nozzle backwards so that is what we're seeing there now when we put it in the water this is what disproves 
NASA's and um, all the other naysayers' um, comments is that um, when we put it into the water, now we're getting rid of that surface tension stream. So we're getting rid of that surface tension stream, and the surface tension's gone. So there's no more surface tension. Now when that water goes out, it can go in any direction. It'll go in the direction of least resistance. And we know that because when I put the, push the nozzle up against the bucket, it actually stuck. So it's like, even though there was water still squirting out, it was going out at right angles. You know, and... Um, the water wasn't going to push the bucket away when it didn't have to. It could just go out at right angles. But see, when the nozzle was outside of the water, it couldn't just go off at right angles. It had to stay in the stream. So since it stayed in the stream, it, um, it produced an equal and opposite reaction to that action of it being ejected out. So that's exactly what we would expect with... A rocket in space on earth the rocket stream there's a rocket stream and the surface tension holding that stream together is the air pressure but once it gets into space and we know that the higher altitude it gets the um the more expanded the gas flow is once it gets into space it's just all directions it's like putting that water nozzle that water jet in water it gets rid of the surface tension gets rid of the pressure and just allows it to go in any direction it wants you know and um it's not going to do any work it's not going to push anything um in an opposite direction just like it didn't when it was in that liquid you know you, you can't push you know like let's say you put you you put um a boulder behind the rocket and you're shooting in space, okay, there you're next to an asteroid, okay, and you're trying to push off of the asteroid. You're, if anything, what the, my experiment showed is that you would get sucked into the asteroid, you, just like you got sucked into the wall of the bucket and stuck to it, because that exhaust gas can go any direction. It's not going to push on the asteroid when it could go at right angles if it wants. It it can just go around it. So we, the rocket would probably get stuck to the asteroid when it tried to push off of it push off of it so anyway i hope that that makes sense i mean i really don't feel like there's that much more i can say to explain it um watch all of my other videos um you know basically that's the point that i'm coming from is you know you watch them all and then you see this and what i just said to explain it um makes total sense and uh, disproves rockets in space even more that's hard physical proof now of our theory so thanks for watching i am the nature hacker do work